In this tutorial, I will use Helium Scraper 3 to extract recursive data. A good sample of this kind of data are Reddit comments, since they can contain unlimited nested responses. I want to extract this data without losing the comments parent-child relationship information, so that later on I can recreate the whole comment hierarchy. I'll create a new project and call it Reddit. The first thing I need to do is create a selector that selects each of the comments, including all the responses. I will expand the properties view, to see what kind of element I'm selecting, and make sure I'm using the same kind of element when selecting child comments. Then I'll right-click selectors and select create from samples. I'll call my selector container. We can see that the top-level comments are now selected. I will select one of these comments. Then press set as top element. Then I'll right click my container selector and select preview selector in browser. We can see now that the direct responses to this comment have been selected. This is because Helium won't select nested elements, which allows us to distinguish between different levels. Otherwise we'd lose the parent-child relationship information. Now I'll press the Clear Top Element button to clear the selection. Let's first try a very simple extraction to see what we get. I'll go ahead and add an action that loads the current page. And then add the selector I just created, and press Enter to insert a new sibling. Now I'll right-click the placeholder and select Generate Extract. Since the action above selects the comments, the generator will use each comment to generate an extract action for us. Now I'll control click each of these selectors to see what they select. Since I only need the number from this selector, I'll add a gather number action. Also, I'll rename it to be more descriptive. Note that the text of the elements selected by the live time stamp selector, shows a time relative to the current time. But since the absolute time is in an attribute called title, I'll add a gather attribute action that extracts this attribute. Also, note that this selector only selects the first paragraph. To fix this, I'll select the full comment and then shift-click it to select similar elements. Then I'll right-click the selector and select Reset Selector to Samples. Also, I'll rename the column to be more descriptive. Now let's run this to see what we get. As we can see on the results, it only extracted the top-level comments. I will modify my extraction logic to extract the comments recursively, although we still won't extract any parent-child relationship information. To do this, I'll wrap my container selector in a sequence recur action. This action will recursively select the elements and produce a flat sequence of comments. Now I'll clear the output table and run the extraction again. This time, it did extract all the comments, but we still don't know which comments are responses to which other comments. To change this, we need to use a tree, which, unlike a sequence, contains information about the parent-child relationships between elements. I'll add a placeholder after the load action and select the tree recur action. Then I'll copy and paste both the container selector and the extract action. Finally, I will delete the old actions. The tree recur action will generate a tree by recursively evaluating the given list of actions. 
In this case, it will first select the container selector, which will select the top level comments. Then it will run the extract action on each of them, and while each container is selected, it will select the container selector again to select the responses, and repeat this process until no more comments are found. Let's now run this to see what we get. Two tables have been generated. The main dot value table contains the list of comments. And the main table contains the parent-child relationships between comments. We can see this data as a single table by right-clicking the main table set and selecting Join Tables. Here, the main column contains the ID of the parent comment. We can also export this table set as an XML file. When exporting a tree, the XML will have the same hierarchy as the original comments. This concludes our tutorial.